world and wonderful good evening to you all out there and welcome to the very first edition of Nikrapu Unplugged. This is where happiness lives and I'm sure a lot of you have been waiting for this moment. Well, we're here now and we're going to share all the happiness. What I'm going to do here is to come your way with some wonderful stories, a conversation with one of you out there and then a letter that comes from one of you out there and I'll share my opinion. And it's not always like, you know, academic. It's, it's, it, could, it could be street. It could be anything I think of what you ask me. So if you have any issue that is bugging your mind and you want me to share my opinion on it, send me a letter and I'm going to do justice to that. So while I bring a guest who you all may know or may not know about, I'll just bring people who are uh, making an impact in the society and then I'll have a conversation with them and then we'll play Unraveled. That gives us a little opening into their personal lives and the things that we don't know about them regularly. So well, this is what Nick Papu Unplugged is all about. It's your best 30 minutes on TV. You will love it. <laughs> Let me tell you a story. I have a story for you. There's this man who is, you know, in bed with his wife. You know, they were watching TV in the evening. And then the wife wanted to be naughty. So she actually sneaks, you know, her phone on the side and dials her husband's number and calls. Immediately, the guy thought it was, you know, his side chick calling. So he jumps out of the bed, takes the phone, and then walks to the um, bathroom. And then he starts to whisper and say, hello, hello. He didn't even check the phone. <laughs> and then his wife started laughing. He said, oh, I'm a boy. He said, oh, I'm a boy. He said, hello, hello, hello. It's a <laughs> boy. Well, I have a letter from one of you out there. And... Um, I'm going to read that letter and tell you what my take on this is. The letter reads, says, Dear Nick Papo, I'm a frustrated man right now. I have been a very naughty husband. You know, I cheated on my wife for some time. She did not know and she never caught me. Hey, but it will be. <laughs> but after some time, I realized I was not helping myself and it was not good for my family. So I decided to put a stop to it. It was not easy, but I did it after some time. I confessed my sins to God and turned over a new leaf. But my conscience is eating me up, so I'm thinking of confessing to my wife. I feel she should know and forgive me. This will set my mind free. But my friend has told me that this is a bad idea. I should not tell her. What do you think? And he signs this and says, confused man. <laughs> confused man, you're confused indeed. You must be very confused. Because you are in a dilemma. You are torn between telling your wife of your old sins or not telling her. Now, let me ask you this question. Or ask yourself this question before you, you, you decide to tell her. How is she going to take it? One. Is she going to forgive you just because you have sinned and confessed to her? Is she going to even believe you? And then ask yourself the very last question. How is she going to feel? Okay? If you're able to answer these questions and you're satisfied with how you think the woman is going to feel especially, then you can go ahead and tell her. I will tell you that if you have truly turned over a new leaf, it's between you and your conscience. And you've confessed to God. Keep it there and don't go back to it. So please, think about it and think about it real hard before you tell your wife. If you've truly changed, in fact, just keep on your road. Don't let anything divide you because if you are divided, <laughs> we're so grateful to Alisa Hotels Group for partnering us to bring you Nipapo Unplugged. And I'm grateful to them as well. Thinking business, leisure, dining, or even fitness? Well, 
there's a distinctive experience with the Alisa Hotels Group, which comprises of Swiss Spirits Alisa, Alisa Northridge, and Alisa Laboni. They have over 281 guest rooms, and it's wide, it's beautiful, it's just wonderful. Look, they have 15 conference facilities and five bars, indoors and outdoors. So you have a dining area, indoor dining area, outdoor dining area. They also have um, a gym, tennis court, outdoor pool, airport pickup and drop off, a gift shop, spa and salon. You actually enjoy unparalleled hospitality and a blend of Western and African amenities. The staff here is highly trained and very, very helpful. If you're thinking of your next accommodation or event, well, think Alisa Hotels Group. If you want more information, log on to alisahotels.com. You'll be glad you did. When we return... If you miss him, hello, sir. Okay. <laughs> the Kasahari John Bull. The name from the sitcom rap, never wait to get The guy rap, and I'm a lumba singing. Oh, homie, I'm quickly, I'm quickly. I'm a little in the one lane. Who he first kissed. Yes, that's how I said first name. And what never fails to make him laugh? When my father raps, my father is about 70 years. All coming up next on Nick Papo Unplugged. I don't know whether it is Clemento Suarez or Suarez. Welcome, Clemento. Thank you. So, what is it? Is it Suarez or Suarez? It depends on your IQ. My IQ? Yeah. Okay, my IQ. If it's two point there, you can say Suarez. And if it's, if it's seven, getting close to mine, you say Suarez. Getting close to yours, yeah. I just keep my Suarez. Ah, uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, brother. Thanks, man. Everything Thanks, all right. Tell everything for Nice, man. nice. You've just taken um, the industry by storm. I'm talking mm -hmm. about the um, stage play uh, industry. Yeah. Um, how did you do it? I don't even know what you're talking about, but um, <laughs> if you're saying that I'm now. A top-notch stage actor. <laughs> of course. Yeah, but I, can, I can only say it's just by God's grace. Because yeah. um, I'm, I'm not like the everyday actor who is always looking for a play or a movie to act in. Mm -hmm. um, I have a day job as well, so okay. I, yeah, I do two things at a time. So if now I'm at the top and you can invite me for your program like this, I can only say it's by God's grace. Nice, nice. Yeah. nice. But how did it all start? Well, it started for me in university. Well, I was doing school plays in mm. secondary school. That's the best uh, mixed school in Ghana and West Africa to my secondary school. The best mixed school, mixed yeah. school in Ghana? Yeah, and West Africa. What do you think about mixed schools? So, Miss is the best. Mm. Single, if you don't take care, you might be single for life. <laughs> hey! <laughs> so best, best is Miss. Right. Yes. When you go to class, you have missed. When you go to your dorm, then you single yourself small. That's why small for a short time. And you plan for tomorrow. Good. So even if you won't go for prep, you go and hire your shadow to go for That's prep right. because you have to mix. <laughs> yes. Because we're born to mix and mingle, right? Good. Good, good, good. Okay. So God is go. not uh, uh, Nick Papo. It's okay. It's okay. I'm telling you. It's okay. It's okay. I know I'm yeah, so, uh, yeah, I, I was doing SS uh, plays at Astema Drag. And then when I got to university, I did um, theater arts. Right. Yeah, so I, that's where I mastered. Okay. Uh, right after school, our first play was produced at the National Theatre. Right. And that's Gallery of Comedies. And okay. the video sort of leaked and it became a blessing in disguise, if okay. I should put it. Because everybody, almost all students in Ghana had it on their laptops and okay. other stuff. So that's where the fame started. But, but do you think the industry has grown to... Um, an appreciable level where it can now um, actually put money in people's pockets. Yeah, it can now put money in people's pockets, but not like big money like that, um, say the movies are doing. You know, with stage plays, it's now coming up. People are accepting us through the Ebo White's plays, and now Nyasapo is there, Yada is there, Nasho Koto is also doing something. Mm -hmm. So I, I think that in a year or two, it will, it will, the, the industry will boom. Will, yeah, will boom. Yeah, and, and yeah. you guys will be at the. At the yes. Me, they, I'm not going. You are not going. I'm not going to do my little boss, boss. Me and you all will climb up. <laughs> you the children that are coming. Me we and will you, go up together. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful. Mm -hmm. But then, so um, you're so good at stage plays. Mm -hmm. How come, and you're, you're a very funny character. Mm -hmm. How come you've never tried um, stand-up comedy? 
Stand up comedy, I can say it's like the scariest job in the world. How? You're good on the stage. Yeah, but not so? alone. With stand up comedy, mm -hmm. my brother, you are there with your God. <laughs> <laughs> if you come and you say, Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, everybody. Yes. Next. So, and then the car hit the guy, and boom, everybody is Nobody done. laughs. Oh, was that a joke? It's Ghana, it's an orphan. <laughs> My brother. So, you, you, want, you want team players, right? Yes, team. So, if I'm there on the stage with you and that thing is not funny, who are you it blaming? It's both of us. Oh, I see. Comedy. Maybe, maybe, maybe right. sometime like 20 years to come when. Uh, when you've made it yeah. too much that you don't even know what to do with yes, your time, then, then you come yeah. and try something. Even that one, they will laugh because that, like, I'm, I, that I'll be nearing retirement. So if you don't laugh, it's not a no problem. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Mm. And you do um, this Kasahari Jumbo thing. Killer, killer are you? One, are you? Two, one, two. Okay, mini. Killer one two one two. What's that one two? You two. What's okay, me? Okay, okay, one <laughs> mini. <laughs> <laughs> so. Mm. So are you are you a musician? Are you taking this thing um, up full time, like adding it to stage plays uh, no, no, and no, your no. day day job? Day job as well. Uh, I'm not doing music full time, and I don't think I will be doing it full time. Right. Uh, I'm just doing it to when the concept comes up. Then I call my I have real musicians in my camp. Okay. Yeah, that's two Ks. They are the rappers and singers. I just okay. join them to produce some comic stuff. Okay, yeah, so it's as and when. But you write the songs yourself, you write the raps yourself. Yeah, yeah, my lyrics sure? are mine. Yeah. Give me some free stuff. Okay, you mm -hmm. give me beat. I'll give, give me beat. beat. Let's go. Let's what go. kind of beat? Funk, any, reggae? Any, anyone. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Cause I had a young boo, so often let me rap now to your moon. Or buy a body before it's a warehouse. Now I didn't get to us a discount. Oh, here I knew I'm bastard, I'm proud. And to win the KK, I mean, how? Open so we live your life, say, Nanama, Miss Brown. We need to get a common the Wama, you proud. Me and you are Shawama. Hey, now, no more who did you ask it? It's more Chris Brown. Yeah, in your bed, on pair of man, so some cocketing. To me, for me, see, come rap, never wait chicken. The Jai rap, Nanama, Lumba singing. Oh, 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 me, oh, Quinle, oh, Quinle, too many TA in the one lane. I can't buy you too much. I can team up with you. And you're making so Lapietus some... make money. <laughs> with your lame, 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 lame. You, you are better than Lapietus. <laughs> anyway, I think you're a natural with, with, with music, you're a natural with acting, and you're on Kijitia. Look, yeah. <laughs> the lawyer on the other side, and yes. I'm the lawyer on one side. Well, you people are not lawyers. We, we are what? Oh. But you, you people are the ones that are not the lawyers. Who told but you? Lo which lawyers wear tail coat with uh, gloves in this heat? Uh -huh. You want to temper with evidence? With evidence. What is the name of your chambers? You don't have a chamber. We, no, have. we have a chamber of pot. Yes. But we have a chamber too. What's the name? Mom for four chambers. Oh. It was a really like that for four. Uh, the for four beats my mind. Uh, I want to come to your chamber. I like it. You like it. I like it. You like for four Yeah. Every day when you come, you get some for four depressed. You know? Hey, Lee. <laughs> you like my chamber? Uh, yeah, but you see, I, um, I really, I really, um, you know, enjoyed being on set with you. Mm, yeah. um, I think you're a wonderful of, person. That was one of the you're great wonderful moments actor in my life. Well. Also, and when I met, met, you know, guys like you who are trying to, you know, uphold the industry, mm. and I was really, really impressed with the whole production values and stuff that you shared. Yeah. And you, you are just this guy is just crazy. Look, if you're having a very bad day, I'll give you his number personally. Call him. <laughs> Video calls <laughs> at 11 a.m. Eh. Yeah. No, the guy's advertising. If you're a guy, don't call me. <laughs> Nonsense. <laughs> anyway, so um, do you think that the movie industry mm -hmm. and the, the art industry actually has come to a level where now it, it actually will put money, proper money, in the pockets of people. Because back in the day, the people who were acting and who were enjoying were mm. working. I see some of them these days, and I'm really heartbroken. I don't want to mention names, but <sighs> I saw one of them the other time, and it's like, 
come on, this is not the man I knew. Yeah, oh, they, they, I think their case is special. Okay. Because, like you're saying, some of them. But what happened to them? Some of them left. Mm. They are doing all right. And most of the times, so the women or the ladies in there are quite okay. Why? I don't know. So we should find out. Because most of them, I think they, 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 they didn't really take good care of themselves. Right. They didn't take care of their money. They didn't invest and all. Okay. So that's why they, some of them end up like that. But we, we, we see, look at this man, um, Diabolo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you won't see him and think that, oh, things didn't go well for oh, him. Well, yeah. Yeah. It's fine, it's better Diablo is there, mm. always looking fresh and all. Yeah. So I think that there's something that they needed to tackle or they and even they need to, to yeah, so. yeah. yeah. But now, things are changing, okay. things are changing. Um, even with art slash painting and all, I mean, mm. things are going, things are yeah. Going so I think, better. yeah, with regards to all those things and just opposing it with the stage acting I yeah. told you about, I think, in a year or two, by 2020, things will be changed drastically. Do you write all your plays yourself? No, all my plays, but I write most of my lines. Most of your lines? Yeah. Okay, okay. And um, your support is your, is your group? Uh, no, I'm part of the you're group. Part of, yeah, yeah. That, that's what I mean, yeah. like yeah. you're part of your support. Mm -hmm. um, have you done any plays with other, other groups? Have you been invited yes, to? Yes, uh, I've done plays with almost all the theatre groups apart from um, Uncle Ebo is Roverman. Why? You didn't, you didn't pass the audition? The, the first time I went for audition, I don't know if I didn't pass, but they didn't call me. <laughs> <laughs> Only shortlisted applicants yes, were, were contacted. Well, yes, so <laughs> uh, that was around 2009. Yeah. You know, uh, our, our sister nation, the um, Nigerians, yeah. learned a lot from us when mm -hmm. you know, they, they, they were going into movie making and all that. They've overtaken us. Yeah. Do you think there will be a time where we would, um, you know, get back our, cream, you know, our glory? Uh, it will be very difficult, mm. considering where they are now. Now, if you can see their movies, the movies that are coming out from mm. Nigeria, mm. they are way different. They are like some. They, they've reached some standard that it will take us a long time to what get there. What is preventing us from I getting to that? I don't know. Part? I don't know. I think we should go back to that collaboration we were doing some time. Yes. Yeah, when we were doing the um, was it Namisha those days mm -hmm. um, time. We should do those collaborations again. Ghana, you know, Nigeria. you know what I think. I think mm -hmm. a lot of people have um, qualifications and degrees. From, uh -huh. from universities and they've studied the arts, they've studied uh -huh. BFA, yeah. and they're not using it for anything. I know, I know a couple uh -huh. of people who have the, the, the qualification and uh -huh. they're not doing anything in the arts. They, they rather would want to go and do something um, else. And those so, people who are not good at it. They weren't? Oh, uh, they are just, look, it's because just I, like any other profession. Mm. There are lots of doctors who come out every year. Mm. And how many of them go to college? And they're practicing. Yes. Yeah, so because I feel that, that if the number of people mm -hmm. who do these courses, mm -hmm. if they they would do something, even mm -hmm. do a play every year, one one play yeah. every year, would have a lot of these. That, that, that's a good idea. We've been fighting this thing for quite a long time. Even if it's not those who come out, I mean, people, the students in the University of Ghana now, yeah. they do plays like every month. Right. If at least after a year or a semester, they could produce one. Of the plays at the National Theatre. The it will be theater. fantastic. Yeah, because they, they only yeah. leave it in their in the circumference of the drama studio, the, and the that's all only Legon students get to even, watch. Even with that, not the whole school. Yeah. Not, like, it, it, you don't get about 10%. It's just the yes. drama students yes. from level 100 to 100, level 100 to 400. 400. They are the people who pick If you're your lucky, your, your um, roommates will follow you and yeah. come and watch. Tell me what you think. It's also about marketing the, the plays, marketing mm -hmm. the production. Because even if on campus you can get 30% to 40% of the students mm -hmm. coming to watch these plays, mm -hmm. then how well would you do outside? Yeah. And are you, are you, is, is the curriculum um, wide enough to cover how to promote? Yeah, these, there's, these, there's these a whole projects. course on marketing. They have a theater management yeah. course that students are in there, students are enrolled in there to do all those things. Uh, before we went there, or even when we went there, the course was so good that they were they were organizing 
outside shows, the theater management people. Right. Yeah, they were doing all this. But now I don't know what, what happened to that course. So me, personally, I, I blame the lecturers and the, the stakeholders in that area. Because I, right. I think it's like by now there should be another theater in the University of Ghana, which will be for the School of Performing Arts. They started building one before I got to school. And up to now, it's not finished. It's not complete. Yeah, it's not complete. And no, so you're talking about the school. The school. I'm talking about the country. The the Chinese. As for gave the country, us... don't go there. <laughs> the Chinese what? gave us oh. a theater um, over 25 it's, years yeah, ago. Yeah, 1992. And it took 1,000 audience. Okay. The capacity was oh. 1,000 or 1,500. Up to now, we don't even have another that will take. Let's say 5,000. It's painful. And we're competing with people who have 20,000, 40,000. It's painful. Uh, capacity. We don't even have the right to co compete. You should sit at home and cry. This, I, I think our leaders are failing us. Our leaders are failing us. If you meet him, no. hello, sir. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
which is um, yeah. advice that we are trying to pe tell people not it's to not be. to. I mean, they are saying so you are not there. You are not. You are not. You haven't blown. That's what they say. You haven't. You haven't blown yet. So why do you always pull people along? You are doing this. You want this person to be there. I tell you, look, what I do, I don't force it. I don't push myself up there. It's only by God's design or God's favor that I'm somewhere. So if I can help somebody, why not? Yeah. Why do I have to be a Will Smith before I can do something for somebody else? I mean, mm -hmm. we can all grow up together. Definitely. Yeah, and that's fine. Oh. So I think that's... Yeah, that's kind of weird. weird. Person um, is a devil. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a secret talent apart from what we already know about? What, what, what are the talents you know about me? Oh, we know you, you act, uh -huh. um, you can rap, so by that uh -huh. you can also write some rap or write music. Uh -huh. um, yeah, uh -huh. the things we know you for, I mean. And you're, uh, uh, I can draw, I can play football. Okay. Yeah. Oh, the really? whole Ghana, nobody can fit me. Can totas, fit you in football? Totas, yes. Totas? Yes. <laughs> All right. Now, let me ask you, what never fails to make you laugh? What never fails to make me laugh? Uh, when my father raps. So he raps all the time for yes. you? Yes. My father really? is, is about 70 years. Mm -hmm. When he sees something of my what, what do you think you have done? <laughs> Let me tell you some funny story about my yeah. Sometimes uh, he doesn't know how to do what you are telling, what you are doing, but mm -hmm. he proved to you that he's better than you. <laughs> Sometimes he got home from office and I was chewing fried yam. Mm -hmm. I was like, mm. Ah, look at that. Why are you chewing like that? You are making noise. Yeah, we don't chew it like that. <laughs> Say, okay, then Eddie, sure teach me how to. Uh -huh. Took that thing. Look at me. I said, what? Chew it! Collect <laughs> 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 it. So when, you, when you see some videos of mine, and he wants yeah. to like, yeah, <laughs> let me rap to Akoshi, Akoshi, she, she, she. Oh, it's funny. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, Clement. Thank you. Suarez, thank you for very coming much. through. I want to raise your IQ small. You want to raise yeah. my IQ small. To so four, how would you do that? Four point one. So, so like Suarez. Suarez. That's right. Clemente Suarez. Suarez. Thank well, you so thank well, you so much for coming, and um, yeah. it's a great pleasure. I'm sure you come back again. Yeah. This is your home. Every yeah. day. You're welcome. Yeah, because when I come, you give me money. So <laughs> every day I'll come. <laughs> well, well, that was Clemente Suarez on the very first edition of Nipapo Unplugged. I believe you had a great time <laughs> and I am going to come your way every week like this and bring you so much pleasure and so much laughter and so much joy. This is Nick Papo Unplugged and we thank Alisa Hotels Group for partnering with us yes. on this project and we believe that you're going to have a really great time. Make a date with us same time next week. I'll catch up with you. Keep it up. <laughs>